wow, it must be another Friday, and it is. Uh, we're back from Vegas, and uh, the drywall and taping is all done, as well as, as you can see, the floors. They've got a seedling coat, their first coat, and uh, I think they, uh, they look really good. Have we done here? Well, the stairs and risers, treads, that stuff has been done too. Although we're having a little bit of a problem with the depth of the stair treads. They're just not deep enough. And uh, we have a contractor coming over to discuss that with us, hopefully right now. Um, we're getting ready for paint. Nice echo in here, right? <laughs> Uh, we're getting ready for paint, and uh, what else? Well, I've been working on some stuff outside. We took the old mantle down, and uh, I've been working on refinishing it, and I'm ready to do its second coat uh, after I sand it um, all around here. It's all pretty much ready to be painted, and the painting is supposed to happen this week. And next week, well, this is Friday, so sometime next week. And while we were gone, you know, quite a bit of this work got done. But as I said in our last video, uh, we were not going to be here for uh, the real dirt part, and it was really dirty. Um, but overall, I'm liking the space. What are we going to do with it? Well, we're going to put a <laughs> all kinds of cabinets in this place. Um, well, let's see. Why don't we take a look at that? So behind me, in this general area, is going to be the sink, cabinets, uh, we're going to have the dishwasher over in this area and then the it's going to wrap around more cabinets uh, microwave refrigerator is going to move its life over in this general direction so that's going to make it a lot more easy to get around uh, extending down towards the far wall um, is going to be more cabinetry so it should be very nice. And uh, really too, a good job for storage. We used to have uh, uh, a big pantry over here in this, uh, underneath this wall in this general area. And that really made everything very compact uh, and not very pleasant uh, with the wall down the refrigerator here, the uh, cabinetry that extends down this way, we still have lots and lots of room for people to be able to move around and enjoy life. Uh, and there's going to be an island in this general area. And uh, you know, once they're done with the painting, they'll bring in the cabinetry and we'll take a look at it there. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it, I think. I mean, it really looks a lot better. <laughs> it's been in inconvenient as hell. You know, Janet's done her level best to try to keep track of and corral the, the amount of dust that's been generated because it's very, it's, frankly, it's lethal for me. But, um, you know, I spend a lot of time out in the RV. Uh, let's take a look at the, man uh, the mantle. I've uh, turned <laughs> the area in front of the RV into my outside workshop. So this was originally stained, kind of a white wash. And uh, so I, I basically took it down to the basics of wood and have it just look that way, wood. <laughs> um, the color of the stain actually is 
still apparent because I kept the front detail, the original color. In some of these projects, you can think about, oh, I'll just take it all down and start over. But when I'm refinishing furniture and or some things, I try to look at what is the character that was there to begin with, what can I keep, and then augment with what my new design idea is. And that's really what I did here. Uh, you're looking at a fair amount of sanding work. Um, <laughs> more than I like to admit. Uh, it's it's fairly, see, uh, well, actually, it's very smooth right now. Um, this is after the first coat. I'm going to put another coat on. What am I using? I'm using uh, a oil-based polyurethane. I've had really good luck with urethanes in the past, and in this particular case, I really wanted it to be super durable, and uh, the oil base does it. it. It really does a great job. The kind of urethane I'm using is Minwax. I kind of like them. Well, I really like them, actually. And uh, see how you can get the end grain standing out. Very nice. Um, the uh, designation is Warm Satin. Uh, Janet hates high gloss finishes. Uh, I guess I do too. So, um, you know, it, it, the finished product will look very similar to this. I, exactly, it's just going to have more durability. I might put two more coats on. We, we're, uh, you know, in the uh, getting towards the backside of October, and uh, we are experiencing great, really fun, wonderful weather. And uh, so consequently, I'm taking advantage of it. So with the additional amount of time I've got, I probably will put another coat on. Too so, who knows? But that's where we're at right now. This, I don't know when this is going to go up. Uh, well, <laughs> the mantle is going to be going here. We have really done a great job here, I think of redefining what this wall is going to be. Yeah, it'll be about here. It'll be about seven inches up. So we'll have plenty of room for the TV. Sure. Sounds good. Uh, the tile that's going around it, it now looks like it's a floating uh, fireplace. Uh, and it gives us more floor room. It just looks like a much cleaner, uh, basic idea of what a more modern fireplace would be rather than a false <laughs> alpine approach. <laughs> Always have to look behind me because there's a hole in the floor for the return air vent. The hallmark of this original uh, room that I'm standing in, a oh, living room, was it was always dark. We just almost never got any direct light into it. Well, we never did. And so consequently, it was always kind of gloomy, horrible. <laughs> and it didn't get used much. But by opening the wall, all this wonderful southern glass that we have just illuminates the entire room. And there are obviously no lights on right now. And it's, it's, a, it's a good, warm feel. And uh, that alone, I think, was really worth it to go to the expense, well, it wasn't that expensive, really. To get rid of this wall was somewhere around six grand. Yeah, it's money, but look at the difference. I mean, everything else sort of flow, flow from that, but environmentally, it's made a hell of a difference. So anyway, that's it for this week. Um, before we can know it, we'll be done. Fingers crossed, we'll still be alive by the end of it. But uh, that's what we're doing in uh, Sandy, Utah. See you all later. Hey, but wait, there's more. <laughs> um, so we met with their contractor and uh, the mark of a good contractor is that if a mistake has been made or a disagreement possibly, but maybe a mistake, uh, they do something about it and and correct it. And in fact, that's what they're doing on the stairs. Uh, they're taking, they've taken all of the old stairs out and treads and, uh, and the risers as well. 
and they went out and bought new treads. What part of the problem was is that the treads had been cut off. Um, and they came to the job site as 11 and a half inches uh, for tread depth. And uh, for whatever reason, the guy who installed them cut them down to 10. And then you put a, uh, a face on uh, the, uh, the riser. And then the next thing you know, you've got uh, something that's well under 10, under 10 inches for a tread depth, which is just not enough. So, you know, instead of trying to do a patch, we're redoing it. And uh, so I've got 16 seconds of stuff that I'll stick in here as far as the fact of <laughs> they ripped it all apart. And, uh, and I just wanted to uh, put, post this as an update because I think it's important to know that uh, you know, good contractors do still exist in this world and, and they uh, really would rather do good work than bad. So anyway, that's it. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're redoing the treads uh, again. And uh, there, it's happening right now, Friday afternoon, late, uh, because we have painters coming in next week. And so uh, uh, stay tuned. The new, <laughs> the new treads. The old treads, you can see that there's a, sub there's a substantial difference in uh, the white, the, the, the width of them. And, uh, pokey smokles. <laughs> They're actually having to redo a substantial amount of, uh, the basic tread work, which should have been done to begin with, actually. If it's not plumb to begin with, it's not going to be plumb when you're done. <laughs> pictures? Taking pictures? Yeah! We are. <laughs> How are you? I'm just trying to avoid the pictures. <laughs> Barely. Oh, you're recording? Yeah. Oh, So, what happened with the stairs? <laughs> well, let's see. All of the sub treads have been replaced. The old ones torn out. Uh, they had glue on them. They probably weren't plumb to begin with. And so, to be able to get the real treads and the faces right, you have to start off with something that's really proper and plumb and true. So, that's where we're at right now. Uh, we have new treads on site, and <laughs> the saga continues. Uh, but that's the latest. For Friday afternoon, everybody's gone. And uh, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. You know, mistakes happen when they get corrected. That's just all we really care about. See you later.